What is good guys, we have more ulti action, I'm gonna re right over this because my internet died in the middle of the game So there's gonna be like a few turns that we will have to, we will have to watch the replay before a few turns Because when I reconnected to my other Wi-Fi, um, I missed a few turns uh, Looking at team view just real quick, we know both teams This is the team that Sijuma used in last round It's um, Bayonet Tyranitar, Scarf Double Lele Spikes, Ferrothorn, Defensive Rocks, Lando, Toxic Spikes, Toxipex, Defensive Common, Real Nicholas. Uh, I think with enough speed for Toxipex so it can't get haste. Uh, this is Sub Z, Bug Buzz, Volcarona. This is a Bengay team. I think he made it with easy. I'm not 100% sure if he made it with easy or if Bengay made the team alone. But it is a Sub Volcarona with um, Swarm and Z, Bug Buzz. It's actually really interesting. I uh, Oko, the Heatran at plus 6 with this um, Volcarona set. But yeah, that's besides the point. This is a defensive uh, standard Celesteela. Standard packs with T-Spikes, Bandit Tyranitar, um, Scarf Landris with Rocks And a defensive Mew with enough speed, or like a fast Mew with enough, enough speed To us beat Landris and Ice Beam that uh, With Willworth, Softball, Ice Beam, Defog, and yeah we'll get right into it Basically um, This matchup is kinda tough for Kanto in my opinion because uh, Volcarona, this specific set, unless he changes it, gets walled by Toxapex. He's just gonna U turn out here, or he, I think. Or go for rocks. Go for, going for rocks would have been a good play. He just U turns, okay. Um, so, yeah, there are two mouses because I'm renarrating over this. So, yeah. I obviously don't remember what I was talking about here exactly. Oh, I was talking about the Muse set earlier. Mm -hmm. Basically, this is defensive Landris. He's not gonna stay in here. He goes in the Ferrothorn, I actually expected him... Oh yeah, he doubled into um, Tyranta, expecting the Reuniclus, that was a good play on Kanto's part. And yeah, kick are most likely knows that his Tita has Fire Punch, because his team is kinda known. So he obviously switches out in defense of Lando, and now kick I can get his rocks up, and pun pressure Kanto to defog. And now he can just go into his... Ferrothorn packs or Reuniclus, like he has a lot of options. Because Ferrothorn doesn't care too much about the burn, Kanto tried to catch him there on a stay in. Uh, he can now knock off uh, Muse leftovers. Muse gonna defog. Okay, Wisps first. But yeah, now he's gonna defog. And yeah, he can go for Leech Sheet here or for Spikes. Because the, the defog is quite obvious, so if he went for Spikes, then he would have still had Hazards up. But yeah, now he can go for Hazards again. The Muse is gonna be forced out, obviously. First one doesn't take any damage. It has Leech Sheet and Burn is nerfed and all, all that goodness. Um, this Toxapex gets bought by Reuniclus, so I can see Kanto doubling into um, Tyranitar here, breaking in the Reuniclus, but he just scalds. So Reuniclus obviously carries Focus Blast, now that um, Dagi is gone, or Arena Trap is gone, Tita is a bit more common. You definitely have to carry Focus Blast on your Reuniclus. Uh, even though I'm not actually sure if it Oko's from full. Uh, I assume offensive Tita gets Oko'd, but if it has a bit of bulk it doesn't. So he goes into the Steela there, at first. Um, because he didn't want to go into T down a potential focus blast. But I guess I went back in the pack. Mew is going to be forced to heal here. If this pack has toxic, it would be amazing, but we already know it's not toxic. We, we have seen this team in the earlier ulti runs. Like I said, it's just toxic spikes, uh, skull, recover, and haste, if I recall correctly. Uh, the defog doesn't really matter. The spike is going to go right back up. And yeah, he can just keep spiking, or he can leech it, not that it really matters. So what Kanto has to do is, um, he has to burn kick ass his Toxapex, and then he has to like whittle it down, and maybe his Volcarona can somehow pull through for him, but I'm not sure. So, he can go for Crunch or Stone Edge here, because it's pretty obvious that it's not gonna stay in. He just goes for Crunch, uh, that was a fine play by kick ass, we do say he has Toxapex, does not have Black Sludge. Which is quite interesting. Uh, Tita was obviously free there, knowing he's locked into Crunch. Now he can fire off a Stone Edge. Kanto has no rock resist at all. Uh, Scarf Land was gonna take a lot, but he dodges. That sucks. That would have done around 70 ish, I would say. My, that's a head cult. Um, whatchamacallit. You can U turn here. He got off the Intimidate, so after he got off the Intimidate, he could have U turned the Celestila, and with the Intimidate, he would have been able to take the Bandit Edge decently well. He can try to ice beam here, catch kick on a stay in, but I think he's just gonna defog. He beams, not that it matters. The, not that it matters if he defog that cut spikes would just go back up. Um yeah, since he doesn't have black sludge, if his if kick as toxic gets burned, um it's gonna be actually the Volcarona can actually become a problem for him. 
Especially if Kanto can get up hazards, but yeah, we guys, you guys can see Kanto is going to force the defog the entire time, so he's probably not going to get up hazards anytime soon. Uh, in hazards, I meant rocks mainly because that's the only hazard he has that uh, Toxabex would care about. T Spikes is obviously a hazard that Toxabex wouldn't care about; it would get rid of them. So you can just crunch again here, and there's a death drop. He's just gonna go to Tita slash Lando. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I can U turn here because if he, if he goes for rocks and Mew comes out, Mew just defogs, so there's no point in rocking here. Um, he either HPI is anticipating the land, though, if you have that, or you U turn. Um, that crit is not gonna play huge, sure, I'm pretty sure. Uh, now he can go into his Toxapex to get Regenerator, or he can go into his Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn reunit, they all work. But yeah, if he goes into Toxapex, he can switch back into his Landris to get Regenerator. Uh, if Kanto breaks that and goes for him, Power Ice, that would be a fire play. But he doesn't. And yeah, now Kickether knows he's locked into Earthquake and he gets a free U turn here. And he gets some more lefties. Okay, he gets his rocks. I thought he wouldn't get go for rocks there because if Mew comes out. That actually was a smart play by Kick so never mind, yeah. That was smart because he wasn't gonna go hard into Mew there because then he, if he went for U-turn then he would have had to take spikes plus U-turn and then he could have gone to Lily and I think the Mew would have been in range from Lily and would have been bad for Kanto. So well done there by Kick Asa. So he tries to get the bonus dealer, he gets it. As his packs got seeded, he's gonna switch um back into his own packs or into his Mew here, Kanto. And he's gonna defog obviously because there's uh, rocks and spikes on his side. Reuniclus can go for a Calm Mind here and put some offensive pressure on Kanto. The Focus Blast is pretty obvious here, so Kanto can try to pivot into his land or a Toxapex here on the Focus Blast. Or he can softball on the predicted Focus Blast. Because Kickass obviously cannot give the t tar free switch in, so he has to like try and spam Focus Blast for a few turns. Are you guys Toxapex on the Focus Blast? The Mist doesn't matter there. So the Haze is quite obvious here, like he can threaten this with a Haze, so this is a 50 50 kinda. Because if he Hazes on the kick as obviously wants to side shock the packs, but if Kanto predicts that and goes into Tita as he does here, he gets kick as and I think Crunch is a roll to kill the Reuniclus. Um, if if kick went for Focus Blast again, they're predicting the Taranta, uh, he would have been in a huge advantage and his Reuniclus would have gone in. I think he would have, I think what um, Kanto would have had to do afterwards would have um, been go to Volcavon and go for Z Bug Bus because a plus one Reuniclus, if he killed the Tita on a switch with Focus Blast, would have been a huge pain. For Kanto, otherwise I don't know how you would have scared it out other with the Volcarona to weaken it at least. Like the Volcarona maybe doesn't even Oko with plus one speed death. But yeah, um he lived a uh, crunch on a roll. I think that that must have been a roll. Uh he turns out back into Toxapex. Pex was a fine play there, but it was a bit risky in case he earthquake because you kinda want the Pex healthy for the Volcarona. Volcarona is uh, still a problem, even though it's kind of walled by this Pex. If the Pex gets burnt here, which he would have gotten burnt if the Mew went for Wisp there, but I think he Ice Beam just trying to get some chip. Oh no, he Ice Beam because he didn't want to Will Wisp, because if the Reuniclus comes out, uh, then the Reuniclus has Magic Guard and gets left over. So he scalds, but if he burns the Mew, then he burns himself. So this is bad for him because now he takes 6% every turn. If this gets low, um, like I said, Volcarona can become an issue. And yeah, we're gonna be at the point where my net lagged for like well like lagged out for a minute that's gonna happen soon in like two or three minutes and i'm gonna pause the recording and go to replay when it happens so yeah he's gonna go and get back up a spike or go for leech sheet here and yeah he's gonna go into toxic back here i assume to get more regenerator I, if i recall correctly he wasn't at full with his toxic packs maybe i'm mistaken here that was in the land i think he played the toxic packs Maybe the Pex was at full, I really don't remember. But yeah, I'm really surprised that uh, Kick Ezra let the Lando die to him power eyes there. So he can go for spikes again. So he goes into Volcarona here. Um, if he Quivalences here, then the Toxapex is forced to go for Haze and it keeps getting weakened. But he's probably just gonna Fire Blast. But Quivalence is definitely an option here. The, r the only reason why you wouldn't want a Quivalence here is if he Leech Seed you and Leech Seed would be super annoying. Like if he leech sees and you could run you're in a bad spot if you can't so fire blast is probably what he's gonna go for. There's the pack that does a decent chunk with the burn and in combination with the burn and considering that it doesn't have uh, black sludge or lefties. 
There's the Mew. Ooh, nice play by Kick Elsa, but he's not gonna let his Titia get burned, but he gets a um, nice chip on the Mew. Burn plus Sandstorm damage plus the spike. And now he can just go into his. Um, he can go Reuniclus or his Ferrothorn here. Reuniclus on the Wisp or in the Defog here. Because if he gets his Reuniclus like a bit more healthy, like a few turns of leftovers, then he can live an Ice Beam and recover up on the Mew. But I assume he's just gonna go Ferrothorn and just keep the Reuniclus as a safe fodder. Because it's gonna be quite hard to like heal the Reuniclus. Um, but I feel like Kanto's kinda pressured to go for like Wisp. If he breaks the switch, he can go for a Defog, but he's quite pressured to go for a Wisp here. Because there's a banter in front of him. And if he, if he goes for Ice Beam, he's trying to catch the Reuni and Kikasa stays and goes for like Crunch. That would be pretty nice for Kikasa. Getting rid of this Mew would mean that the Spike would be here to stay. Um, rocks are never gonna go up again though. That's, I'm kinda surprised that he let his Landris go down when Rocks... Like Rocks aren't up like... I don't remember if Rocks weren't up at that point, but Lando dying means if Mew defogs, Rocks ne uh, never go up again, even if they were up at that point. So he just whisks there and they both play it safe basically. But yeah, this is completely fine for Kigaza because he keeps taking a uh, Wisp. Uh, worm damage, Sand damage, and he can just leech sheet here. Annoy the shit out of this Mew. And he can just spike again here in case the Mew defogs. And yeah, Kanto's gonna be forced out with the Mew. Sooner or later, it's not like he can just stay in. Uh, I think this is the point where my net lagged out. Let me see real quick. Um, yeah, exactly, nothing happens here. So this is the entire time, it's the same turn. And I was like, why is no one making a move? But then I realized, oh, my internet died. So let me pause it real quick and go to the replay to turn 51. But uh, it's only for 10 turns, guys, or something like that, don't worry. It's only 13 turns if I recall correctly. And then we're gonna be live again. We're gonna have to smoke this jet and everything back. Let me pause it real quick. Okay, so we here we are again at the turn that we left off. And we're just gonna watch a few turns now from the replay. So the Muse first out goes into Solid Dealer here. Um, so he has two layers up, which is pretty nice for Kickasser. Switch into um, pack slash or Uniclus is super obvious. If he went for Uniclus there on the Lichid, he would have been a god. But I guess Kanto knew that he wasn't gonna risk that. Uh, I assume Kickass is gonna pivot out here to get rid of the Lichid and get his regenerator on the Toxapex. Oh, he just scalds. Wow, Kanto was hard Landris and gets burned. So you guys can see Kanto's entire team is like worn down. Like, Kanto is not. Like, he has to bank on Volcarona is what I'm trying to say at this point. Volcarona is gonna be his way, main, like his last hope. Earthquick doesn't do much from Scarveland, who's burned. Lily can, um, he's gonna go Sleela here, I assume. Lily can go for Psychic here. Sleela Munch is dead. I assume he's gonna go to the Toxapex here. Like, there's always the option that he's gonna go Reuniclus, but... Toxapex is just the safest play. Uh, nice play, doubling into Mew to get the defog off. But yeah, Tox the spikes are gonna go back up from the Ferrothorn. And I assume Kanto's gonna go into Volcarona and attempt last ditch effort. Last sweep chance thingy. Okay, that was bad English. But yeah, let me see. In like three or four turns, um,. I think turn 64 was where my internet came back, and then we will switch back to my live recording. And yeah, spikes are gonna go back up here. Even though double leeching, I think double leeching here would have been a good, would be a good play, predicting the Volker runner to come out. He goes Celestia, okay. But even yeah, double leeching is a good play, and he makes that play amazing play. I like that play a lot. I mean, I understand why he's um, like I said, it's for Magma Storm Heatran. The, the not black sludge on packs hard into Volk, okay. So he's gonna equivalence up here and attempt to go for a game with Volcarona. Toxapex comes out. I assume he's gonna equivalence. Okay, subs first. Now he's gonna equivalence. And let me actually run a calc if um, Scald always breaks the sub at plus one speed death. That would be interesting to see because this Volcarona has some bulk investment. It doesn't break, okay, because this Volcarona has like a lot of HP investment because I have like Blender uses in the video. I think it has like 72 or was it 92 HP investment? But yeah, let me pause it and go back to my um to my live recording real quick. So that's a really cool spread from Gengar. Skull doesn't break the sub. Like I think it has like a slow chance to break the sub at plus one speed. That's fire. 
Okay, we are live again. Nice. So he can um He's gonna go for Haze here, kick Azar. Obviously to get rid of the boost. So even if Bakbas gets a spadef drop, Haze is just a fine play because you would also get rid of the spadef drop on your Toxapex. And yeah, Z, um I assume Kanto is gonna keep subbing down into swarm range. Okay, he goes on the T to get the sandstorm chip. I didn't think he would do that. I thought he would just go for Haze. That is quite I don't I'm not the biggest fan of that play. Um, I understand why he made it, but now his Toxapex has to take Burn plus Sandstorm, so his Pex gets worn down even more. Uh, I understand that. I understand why he made it to chip down the, the Volcarona with the Sandstorm, but still, this is a bit rough for him. Um, basically, um, Kanto is going to be in Swarm range eventually, and then Z Buck Buzz is going to do a fuckload to Toxapex. I'm actually going to run a cock when it comes to that turn where, because I remember there's like one turn where he's going to where he set up. And where he goes for the Z-Bug Boss. Regular Bug Boss is doing 37, so the Z-Move would do around like 70-ish at that at plus 2. And if he like takes a little bit more chip on his wall corner, he gets into Swarm range. He has to be at 33%. But yeah, this is like fine for Kanto because this Pex is always on the defensive and he can just spam Bug Boss. Since he can, um, since he always has the, he always takes the burn, he's forced to recover. And it's really crazy how like a Volcarona can beat the packs like this. Um, but yeah, not having Black Slash also plays a role here for sure. And the crit also helps him there. Uh, now the sub finally breaks. The reason why he's not gonna sub again is because then he would die to the Sandstorm here. Uh, from Tita. He would die to Sandstorm in two turns if he subs there. So he makes a nice play, just goes for Buck. But I think he breaked the Tita to come out. And now... Let me actually run a calc here to see how much the bug buzz would do from this uh, Volcarona plus one. I'm not sure if he's in Swarm because Shodan might round down, he's at 34, but if he's at 33, then he's in Swarm range and would do even more. Okay, so if this Toxapex is Spadef, there's no, there's like no chance uh, for plus one um, Savage spin out. And this is max special attack Volcarona. I'm pretty sure this Volcarona isn't even max special attack because it runs some bulk investment. And even if he is in Swarm, which I put him at 1 HP so he's in Swarm, even then, uh, plus 1 does uh, 67 to 79, so it doesn't kill. So you guys already know, like, some of you guys might already know what happens now. He has to get a crit to kill his Toxapex. Um, otherwise, the Pex is gonna eat it up. He goes for Savage Spin out and he crits Bob. 81%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have done 79 max if he's max special attack and if he wasn't swarm. And one, he wasn't probably. He wasn't probably. God, why can I not talk? Probably He was not in swarm, probably. Number one and number two, he's not max special attack. So that would have done around 70 ish max. And now he just has to hit a fire blast here. I assume Kick Ass is gonna go for a leech seed, hoping for hoping for a dodge at this point. Uh, yeah, Kick Ass loses if um, Kanto can connect his fire blasts. Uh, actually, he doesn't even have to connect two. He only has to connect on Pharaoh because Bug Buzz obviously kills the Lily. If I recall correctly, the Lily took some chip damage already. So yeah, game two is gonna be a, a separate video, especially because of all this thing between switching between replay and live. It's a bit annoying for me. But yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, what kick Kikatha, I don't know if he would have predicted the Z-Move and gone for Recover or if he would have gone for Haze. No matter what, kick still had a chance to win. Um, because I think, if I recall correctly, yeah, he hits and this game is over. Kanto's Lando is burned, Kanto's Muse burned, if I recall correctly. So like, and Steeler's also burned, so like Kanto's team was pretty crippled at this point. So the combination of Ferrothorn and Pex would have been um, definitely could have potentially won for Kick Ass there. I did a forfeit, and we're gonna be back um, with game two in a few minutes or like an hour. I'm not sure my end is not that good, so we shall see. But yeah, game game two is like live narrated. My internet didn't die at that one, so like I had to redo this. This is annoying. But thank you guys for watching. Quite unfortunate crit at the end. Um, but yeah, Kanto is also my Discord, so I'm kind of rooting for him. I know Kikas is also my Discord, but like, Kanto is like a little bit more active. 
And yeah, Kendall seems like a chill guy. Uh, I think he's like, is he like, is he like, uh, he, I think he has like, uh, that I could be banned on forums. So yeah, you get, now you guys see that I used uh, Juicy Foul Team, VLT. Um, okay, I don't know why I said it in German words. Basically, I messed up my outro. Thank you guys for watching. And but what I'm trying to say is I'm rooting for Kanto a little bit more, even though I want both players to win. And peace out, and I'll be back with game two.